Kia ora and welcome to Let's Get Political. Shortly we catch up with Labour's Jacinda Ardern at Real Groovy in central Auckland. But first, what's happened in the past seven days? It's just five weeks until the election. Let's get political. This week, Nikki Hager released a book, Bang On Theme, with the campaign called Dirty Politics. You are not going to believe what you read and how awful, how bloody awful it is. The fallout rolls on with legal action being threatened all over the shop. Earlier in the week, the campaign officially launched for two parties. Labour went big, a big venue, a big health policy and a big red bus. Hey, this bus looks alright, although I'm still getting used to that bit. <laughs> And surprise, surprise, New Zealand First went big with the race card. As they say in Beijing, two Wongs don't make a white. <laughs> That's it for this week in politics. This week, we're talking New Zealand's firsts. We've kept our silence, waiting around to see what the results really are. We're still waiting, and when we know those, we'll talk. We'll no, not know that facts, guy, you know, we'll but do. moments New Zealand has led the world. You'll know that us Kiwis were the first in the world to give women the vote. Do you honestly believe it will be a better world if my maid should have a vote? For my maid is a very stupid person. Kate Shepherd led the charge, campaigning for years until the law was changed in 1890. Then perhaps we should educate her. <laughs> You'd have a better chance teaching my horse. And if you gave my horse the vote, surely he would vote for our other horses? And then we shall have a parliament full of horses. New Zealand was also famously the first country in the world to have a transsexual elected to parliament. It fills me with some emotion that um, we've come this far. It's, um, it's a world first. Georgina Bayer was elected to the seat of Wairarapa in 1999. Her opponent that night was another familiar face, and the result came down to the wire. Yes, Paul Henry will win this with a 2,500 majority. Yes, I think you're probably right. Um, I'll win because people have voted for the best person for the job. But it wasn't him. Georgina Bayer is standing for the Mana Party this election in the seat of Te Tai Tonga. You're going to be hearing a lot about thresholds in the coming weeks. In Poland, it's bad luck to shake hands over a threshold, but in New Zealand, it's good luck to get over it if you're a political party. Here's Dan Lake to explain. Last week, we talked about the basics of MMP. This week, it's all about the 5% threshold. No, Wallace, that slice belongs to one of the smaller parties. This is the percentage of the party vote a party must achieve in order to make it into Parliament unless they win an electorate. Then the formula changes completely. Without the final results, the exact calculation isn't known, but generally it goes like this. Let's say I've just won an electorate seat and I got about half a percent of the party vote. Then I'm going it alone. If I won around one and a half percent, I can take someone with me. And if I won two and a half percent, I can even take two. Meanwhile, this guy from the Everyone's Party got 4% of the party vote, but didn't win any electorates. He's not going to Parliament at all. Jacinda Ardern grew up in Morrinsville, the daughter of the local cop. Now the Labour list MPs campaigning to represent the most urban electorate in the country, Auckland Central. Dan Lake met up with her at her favourite hangout, Real Groovy Records. Hi, my name's Jacinda Ardern and I'm a Labour MP and also the candidate for Auckland Central. And when I'm not out campaigning, which is most of the time, I sometimes come here to Real Groovy in central Auckland. And I hide in amongst boxes and boxes of vinyl. I'm standing awkwardly with two records. Like a promo girl. <laughs> Why did you get involved in politics? I was probably about probably about 15 or 16 when I started getting quite political. So my first real political experience probably was running for school council and then my school board of trustees under the really weighty issue of girls being allowed to wear pants to school. <laughs> I think New Zealand's too small really for politicians to ever really distance themselves too far from their communities. My family's from the rural Waikato. Um, they're never gonna let me stray too far from my roots, even though I live in Auckland. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, probably I'd say this is 
personally top of my agenda is I, I want to put in place um, a robust plan to eradicate child poverty in New Zealand. And so there are lots of ways we can do it. We've got to make sure that we've got some targets to reduce it. But for me, setting up just a framework to make that happen and ensuring that no matter what government is in place in the future, that they have to keep that as the number one priority is really, really important for me. Next time we'll catch up with the woman Jacinda is desperate to beat, the current Auckland Central MP, Nationals' Nikki Kay. But that's all for this week of Let's Get Political. Don't forget to tweet us at LGPNZ. I'm Tova O'Brien. See you soon.